The creation of a digital single market will be one of the priority of this new European Commission. The reviewing of European copyright laws will be part of it. The debate on simplifying European copyright rules has started in the European Parliament with a young German Pirate Party member, Julia Reda. As more and more contents are put on the web through social media or other providers, it is time to make it easier for European consumers to use Internet, said Julia Reda. The German member presented on January 20 a report for new copyright rules. Uh, I wouldn't say that I want uh, less copyright, but rather to have simpler rules, because right now the rules are so complicated and so different in the member states. The European Copyright Directive was written in 2001, in a time when YouTube, Facebook or Twitter were not existing. And according to that, it's not difficult to understand why it needs to be updated to the digital world. Therefore, Julia Reda proposed in her report taking off some national copyright rules, especially in public sector, that will help the creation of a digital single market. For instance, she explained that public libraries should be able to lend digital books online to give Internet users the right to use them. The Internet has no borders and uh, the great advantage of the Internet is that we can easily exchange culture from country to country and this is something that the European Union should, uh, should be in favor of. Today one of the biggest challenges for artists or producers is that they should get paid for their work when it is published online. Veronique de Bros, who represents the European societies of authors and composers, stressed that these copyright protections are needed. They prevent artists' works from being exploited on the web by big giants who pay nothing. What is important in the internet, because nowadays content is exploited in the internet is a transfer of value that is taking place to the benefit of intermediaries such as YouTube or other hosting platforms that are not playing the game of copyright and that are using the EU legislation on the safe harbor uh, not to pay for copyright. That is unacceptable. It's a wonderful tool for consumers, but those big players that are making a lot of profit on that should pay for copyright. Copyright rules on the web are so different between member states that it is difficult to respect all those rules. And it is indeed difficult to imagine how easy it is to breach the law. Julia Weda takes a simple example of taking a holiday picture in front of the Eiffel Tower in Paris and post it then on Facebook. If I take the picture at night, it's a copyright infringement. If I take the picture during the day, it is not. This is not something that uh, a tourist from Germany or from Belgium can be expected to know. And uh, when it comes to using video on the internet, uh, if I use five seconds from a popular movie uh, uh, in a blog posting that I'm publishing, uh, this is considered a copyright infringement, even though there is no commercial harm. Equal access across borders to the web is a good idea for web users, but copyright experts say that setting up common European copyright rules or a so-called single European copyright title will take 30 or 40 years to be implemented it, as member states are not ready to lose their autonomy on copyright. Members of the European Parliament from Legal Affairs Committee are expected to vote on Julia Reda's report next April before going to plenary. Then in September, the European Digital Chief, Gunther Oettinger, will present the key proposal for the digital single market, including copyright reforms.